Hey, what's up guys? Paul from Paul's Cots. <clears throat> um, what we got here is a uh, GX200 style, Predator 212 style cylinder head. Um, we got the big uh, intake manifold welded on, billet CNC piece. Got this from uh, Clements, uh, you know, as he was stopping to sell all of his stuff. He was getting rid of some stuff. Ended up picking up one of these. I was actually going to save this for myself, but ended up giving it to this customer. Was going to do a welded on intake tube, but uh, he ended up getting a different carburetor, and I think that's the uh, that's the only one of these that I got for that. So, um, but why I'm making this video is uh, let me put this light on here. so we can see up the pot all right now when you're porting out a GX 200 cylinder head uh, and you're going like you know you're trying to max port like we're running on this one we're running a 28 millimeter carburetor so this uh, so this intake track is 28 millimeters the whole way through okay so when you when you're trying to get something that big through one of these cylinder heads, that's what I call max ported. Now, you're gonna run into an issue when you're max porting, is you see here, what that is, is that's the oil feed, and what I call that is breaking through. Now it's really inevitable, um, unless you really, you know, if you're gonna be doing the max porting. Um, you're gonna break through that if you don't break through that then you're not as big as you can go um, So what I do uh, it's a trick that I've Taken from porting car heads and it's uh, I call it tube in the head I'll take a little bit of JB weld and put it in around this tube And I'll go and I'll put this tube inside the cylinder head like that and what that does is it blocks off uh, That that intake what would be an intake leak and I'll spin this off and I'll show you the underneath of it. And that tube comes right up here and it goes right up to the uh, oil passage. So that completely blocks that off. You know, and now, now you have a nice open oil passage. Um, and that's how I do it. That's what I call my max port head. I think I'm the only but only person doing ports that big. It's a lot of work to get them that big. But uh, you know when I'm doing max port and I always tube the heads. So this is Paul from Paul's Carts. It's how I tube the heads. It's how I get the most amount of airflow through them. Um, I don't want to give my CFM that I flowed through this head, but uh, nobody's touching this. Um, Paul's Carts, max porting. Till next time, you guys have a nice day.